Hello and welcome back to Hardreset Info. In this video, I will show you how to lock apps with fingerprint on Samsung S25 Plus. Let's begin. As you can see, we have set up in previous video uh, locking apps with simple password. So as you can see, I have two Tic Tacs here. And if I would open uh, the unlocked one, I can simply just go into one. However, uh, if I'll go to this one, I will need to input my PIN. But it can be a bit tedious each time you do it. So can we actually set, uh, uh, for example, finger or fingerprint? And the answer to that is yes. We can easily do that by going into our secure folder and inputting our PIN. And if you can't find uh, the secure folder in your apps, it's because you may have uh, you may have set it to hidden. You can go to settings. You can scroll down and go into security and privacy here. Then you scroll all the way down, click more security settings, and go go to secure folder right here. So let me simply go back. Oh, I have to input our password. And in here, we click those three dots and click settings. Here we go to lock type. We'll have to input our current password first. And as you can see, we can simply enable fingerprints. Now we can set, we have to set uh, not only fingerprints, but also like a backup password. For me, it will be pin. As you can probably guess, it will be the most powerful pin ever created. That being one, two, three, four. We can customize our lock screen notifications, but we don't want that for now. And now, as you can see, our pin is set as a screen lock. And our phone just simply says that we have to remember it, uh, because not all we will won't be able to always use our finger. And now we'll go through the process of registering our uh, fingerprint. So I will use my thumb or my normal hand. And we simply have to press our finger into the circle. And when it's fully highlighted, we have to press it again, usually from the different sides. So let's, let's begin by doing that. As you can see, it can be a bit tricky, uh, but you have to put it right in the middle. And you just continue to do that after it hits 100%. And we have successfully added our fingerprint. We can add another for another finger, but for now I will be done. And as you can as you can see, my lock type is now set to pin and fingerprints. And if I would leave now and go into my secure folder, I can simply press my finger. Uh, I can press my finger, and after a while, I can log in. Uh, I believe that if you're using uh, a newly added fingerprint, your phone just doesn't uh, don't know it that that well, which is why on the beginning in the beginning uh, you your phone might say that hey your fingerprints aren't the same, but after a while it should know it should get to know you, and you should be able to use it freely. And of course it will work the same if we not go into secure folder. But for example, I Facebook here. And in order to use it, we have to press our finger. And only then we can use our Facebook. And whenever I leave this application, I would have to use my pin, I use my fingerprint once again. And if you don't want to use it after each time after you, use an, after you leave an application, you can go back to secure folder. Click those three dots here, click settings, oh, click, oh, click three dots, here you click settings, and in here you can see option to 
autolog secure folder. And we can simply set it up to when my screen turns off. So now if I would go to my Facebook, you can see that I don't have to input my password anymore. But if I would lock the screen, and go back to my Facebook, you can see that now I will have to put my pin once again. But now I can just do whatever I want and I don't have to input my pin unless I will lock my screen once again. And that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, please consider to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.